Hey, I'm Christiana, and could you state your first and last name for us and then your project? Uh, it's Rhonda Suter, and the project is Back in the Saddle. Tell us a little bit about the story behind your project. What inspired it exactly? Well, Back in the Saddle was inspired, so it's about a relationship therapist who turns to a dating app to enter to your dry spell. And part of the inspiration was, I think, first, like any idea, like one day you're just like, an idea comes, and I thought it would be interesting because we think there's a stereotype, you know, we kind of think that people who, like a relationship therapist should be able to just, you know, mm -hmm. um, have a healthy relationship when technically, like we have a lot of knowledge and we can help people with that knowledge, but it doesn't mm -hmm. mean our lives are working out the way like we want our, you know, want them to. Mm -hmm. So part of it was that, um, it was kind of breaking down stereotypes and also I think sex is still like a taboo subject, especially at the time I wrote this because it took some time to produce it once I got it written. So I think it's important to talk about sex and be open about it and also the demographic that I cast, um, the over 50 demographic is a different demographic for this type of story and I think it's important to represent underrepresented um, you know, members of the acting community and our world and society. Absolutely. Where did you shoot this project and were there any specific challenges while you were shooting it on set? Yeah. Um, so we shot in Houston, Texas um, and there was the probably one challenge we definitely had on the first day had to do with just some communication. Um, so it was a really short shoot as it was. We shot this in two days, um, two uh, eight hour days. And on that first day, which it often does, the first day of a set, you kind of are getting used to each other, getting to know each other. So there was a bit of challenge in communication, getting you know the things like the shots exactly as I wanted them. Um, even though we'd had a lot of prep ahead of time, that on and live in action became a bit of a challenge. So it slowed things down a little bit, but by the end of the first day, things were rolling really well. Um, we were all on the same page and it started moving much quickly after that. And would you say that while you're on set you're wearing multiple hats most of the time? Um, in this particular case I was actually fortunate I really could direct and that was my primary um, my primary role was directing. Um, I did have a really great AD, our DP was amazing and we had a small, a very small crew but they were awesome at taking care of everything that we needed taken care of. And so if you had uh, a particular role that you could just do in the film industry for the rest of your career, what would it be? What would your position be? Mm -hmm. It would be, it would come down to acting and directing. It would be those two. Actually, they're kind of equal. I don't know which one I would choose over the other. Um, they're both, uh, I love doing both, I think, uh, and they're amazing ways of telling stories. So. Absolutely. And then is there anyone you wanted to thank in particular um, for helping you with the project or like anyone that, you know, support, like gave you moral support? Mm -hmm. I mean, I want to thank definitely everybody who contributed. Uh, we did a GoFundMe, everybody who contributed, um, friends, family who contributed to funding the film. And then also, I mean, the amazing cast and crew and Susan and Jim did an amazing job um, in the film. So I want to thank them very much as well for showing up the way they did to make the film what it was. That's amazing. And anything else that's next for you? I'm currently working on a performance piece. Um, I have a history of undi being undiagnosed with severe complex PTSD and literally lost everything because of it. And I've had to start my life over, over and over again. So fortunately, I was able to find the right provider, got the right treatment. And I can stand here and have this conversation because honestly, at one point just a few years ago, I wasn't able to. So now, um, my goal is to share that information through live storytelling and mm -hmm. so a performance piece that also includes film is part of that and there's also a story called 40 years to finding me that will also be part documentary and also part uh, a book and also a performance piece and also back in the saddle we have a concept to create that into a series as well around the Mali character Wow, it seems like there's a lot to look forward to. Is there, of course, yeah. Um, is there anything you'd like to say to Grayson and Ryan? I just think it's great that they're having this festival and um, they really understand what uh, filmmakers go through. And to have this type of support and really be able to feel connected um, with the film community is an amazing opportunity. So just really thank them for what they're doing to bring more film and art to, to our community. I came and I regret nothing.